Aladdin might be the only king who does not have a royal outfit out of all of the dolls I have. The version of Aladdin that I have came with strict clothes. It's got patches on his pants. I told myself Aladdin likes to wear casual clothes even in his palace, but not anymore. He cannot go to Mal and Ben's wedding in his strict clothes. That would be quite inappropriate. And well, he could probably attend Mal and Ben's wedding in his street clothes and nobody will kick him out, but it would be quite an embarrassment for the kingdom of Agrabah. So we're going to give him a royal outfit. I think the live action version of the doll came out in a royal outfit, but I prefer to keep my dolls rooted in the animation version if possible. I also don't want to swap the dolls just for the wedding. I want to keep the same doll. The Disney Prince dolls are quite big, so most of clothes from other dolls do not fit these dolls. So I'm going to make him a royal outfit in this video. The inspiration for his outfit is the live action film version. In the live action version, Aladdin's royal outfit is consisted of four layers of clothes and a turban, a belt, a pair of shoes, a staff, and a dagger. That's obviously a lot. So I'm going to cut it down a bit and make the long inner robe, the outer jacket, the pair of pants, a turban, and a belt. If we ever have time later, we may come back and finish the rest of his look, including all the fancy decorative things on his costume. We're basically going to omit the inner shirt, the big outer tunic, his shoes, and the rest of his accessories. At the end of this, we will have Aladdin who looks bare minimum presentable like a king, which is good enough for my videos. His outfit has basically two colors, white and gold. I was contemplating about the gold fabric. I thought maybe regular gold fabric might look too dull because sometimes they look kind of light brown. So, I thought I should go and get the sparkly gold fabric from the craft aisle. But maybe they might cheapen the look because it is not a real fabric. But anyway, I had no idea how this will look, so I decided to go with the sparkly gold fabric from the craft aisle. It kind of looks alright, although it feels way too sparkly. To make his inner long robe, I traced the vest that the doll came with, but added additional length below. The robe goes all the way down to his ankles. It is sleeveless. The collars are gold trimmed and the gold trim goes all the way down the front opening. The front opening looks very open, which allows the inner shirt to show through, but since there is no inner shirt, we will make the front opening smaller. I hem the edges and the inner robe is done. Next, the outer jacket is made the same way, but I added two arms. The jacket is about knee length. Again, the collar is gold and the gold trim extends all the way down the front. The ends of the sleeves are gold trimmed. The two shoulder blades are also getting the gold trims. I hem the edges and the jacket is done. Next is the belt. I add a belt loop behind the buckle. The loop goes on the back of the belt so it is not so visible from the front. The belt buckle is made with some polymer clay. There are two circles in the middle and two spiky things sticking out on each side. In the live action version there are more elaborate patterns on the buckle but I decided to omit any more complicated looking details mainly because it is already too small to carve anything on top of this. I baked the polymer clay for 15 minutes and then paint it gold. I add three white dots on top. The buckle is glued to the belt. I sew the belt onto the jacket so the belt will stay on his waist. Next is his pants. I trace the pants that the doll came with. Basically, the pants are made by sewing together four leg pieces. Finally, we're left with the turban. I didn't give him the extra neck covering. 
To make his turban poofy, I crumpled up some aluminum foil and made his headdress look extra poofy. The turban has to fit around his plastic hair and on top of his small hat that won't come off, so we didn't have too many options. The aluminum foil is covered with white fabric and the long strip of white fabric is wrapped around the turban. The strip is sewn onto the turban so it will stay in shape. I didn't have a white feather so I followed the look from the animated version. I glued the purple feather and a red tear shaped gem. And here is Aladdin in his royal outfit. <laughs>